Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my HelloFresh. Um, this is the second box. Oh, this is really heavy. Um, this is my second box I've gotten from them. And it's quite big and nice um, packaged and all that good stuff. Um, I do pay for these myself. It's not sponsored or anything. But I thought I would share what recipes I chose and like how it's packaged and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so it looks like that. And I'm not quite sure what this is, but it seems to hold like the coolness in. But when you open it up, it comes with this like little booklet that says get cooking. And I think it has like just like tips and stuff for cooking. I also, it comes with a give a friend their free meals for free. And so like you can give it to someone and at the back it has like the code so if there's someone you know that wants to try and they want to get it for a, a nice discounted price or free or whatever, give it to them. Um, it also comes with a $45 off your first box for the HelloFresh wine. Um, I didn't know this at the time, but they do wine monthly. Um, I don't do that one, um, but I have been thinking about it, so if I do happen to want to do it, I will definitely do a video on it, but they give you the code at the back. Um, my very first box also had this, the same stuff as well, so... I have. And then the next thing you'll see, sorry if I'm not showing it that well, are these cards. So I'll go over the cards real quick. So the cards that you get, three of them are the recipes, which this first one is the honey glazed pork tenderloin with sweet potatoes and green beans. And so it comes with a card in it says the prep time, the total time, and the calories per serving, and then it shows you all the ingredients that comes in the box. Try to show you as best as I can, and it shows you a nice picture in the back. It kind of gives you a tip up here, the things that you should already have, like olive oil, vegetable oil, salt, pepper, butter, paper towels, the pans you'll need, peelers, zester, like that kind of stuff. Um, try, uh, make sure you have on hand because they don't send you that stuff obviously, but um, they'll tell you things that you'll have to, they say, bust out. So always have those. And then it tells you the ingredients for the whole recipe, which is also nice. And um, I mentioned the wine earlier. They send you like, I believe they send you like wine that goes with the recipes. So this one says light, so whatever wine is light, I guess, would go with this. But anyway, it tells you the instructions step by step, and it's pretty easy to follow. I've cooked three recipes already, and I like how they show you the picture. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of the card. Sadly, like, I... I'm going to have to get a folder or something to put these in so I don't lose them, obviously, because um, the three recipes that I've had so far, we definitely want to make again, and I don't want to lose these cards, so that's the only downside. Um, the next recipe I chose was the one pan orzo italiano with chicken, sausage, tomato, and spinach. And that's what it looks like. And down here, obviously, it tells you the prep time, total time, and the calories per serving. And then the ingredients that comes with it. Um, I have the app for this. And you can choose, like, if you want light recipes, quick recipes, if you would prefer no, like, beef or chicken or, or poultry or fish and stuff. So you could do that. Um, I just did the variety one. I want to do a variety of stuff. So, and then it tells you, again, the bust out and all the ingredients. This one is an easy wine, which I'm not, I'm not a wine person. I don't really drink wine very often, but whatever that means. And then you got all the instructions. 
I typically read the instructions before I even start cooking, just in case like I can um, like do two steps at one time, I'll do that. And then the last one is pulled pork mac and cheese with barbecue spices and scallions. This one I was definitely excited for. I'm a barbecue girl and I love mac and cheese. And so does my husband. So we really, really wanted to try this out. And then the ingredients, the prep time and total and calories per serving. So... And they do like show if it's going to be spicy. Um, this one says it comes with hot sauce, so that's probably where that hot spiciness is coming from. And then you get a fourth card, and this one is the nutritional information, and it has every single um, recipe you could have chose for. Um, I do three. So, um, I think you can choose up to four, but I think you have to do the family plan. I just do the classic one. So, and it just tells you nutritional value. So, and it tells you all the ingredients and, you know, kind of all of that stuff. Um, I've been counting my calories personally, so I really enjoy this because it kind of lets me see how many calories it is, what exactly is in the um, food, recipe, all of that good stuff. So I really do enjoy that. All right, let's get more into this. So it comes with this paper thing, which it just tells you that don't forget to check under the ice for extra cool ingredients, which typically are like... Um, Chicken breast, um, your ground beef, anything that's like raw meat will be at the very bottom in between big ice packs. And so you can see my three, my three bags right here. So we'll pull out the first one, which is the pulled pork mac and cheese. And it comes in this. And so I'll open this and I'll show you what's inside. So let me pull out my card. Just and I like to check to make sure every single ingredient is in there because if they're not, you can email them and they should send you the ingredient you're missing. So this first one is scallions. And it says scallions down here. A nice amount of them. Next I see is oh crap, how do I say this? Uh cavatopi? Tap having copy. <laughs> I know I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. Um, but it's just pasta. And what I like about HelloFresh is they send you the exact amount of food ingredients that you will need for that recipe. So you don't have to have like a whole bunch of extra stuff. And so that's the main reason why I wanted to try this out. Um, there's 2% reduced fat milk. And if you're wondering why it's, like, packaged a little different, um, the people that, like, do the food kind of stuff, they package it just for HelloFresh. So that's why it looks, like, you know, different. Or it has, like, the HelloFresh symbol. So I like that, too, because it's, like, customized just for HelloFresh. Um, next, I got cream cheese spread. And just this little... Little thing. Next, I have the sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. And I like that it tells you what is actually in it. So, again, if I wanted to do this myself at a later date, I could just, you know, write down what was in this. Or it should be in the nutritional. It probably is in the nutritional. Um, ingredient area I hope you can see so if you wanted to make it a later date you can figure out what exactly was in that um, it comes with a pack of Mexican blend cheese um, it's just Monterey Jack cheddar queso quesadilla and azer, uh, azerdo cheeses 
Again, I'm not really good at pronouncing all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it comes that. Next, we have this little thing of flour. Another thing of cream cheese. And lastly, uh, hot sauce. A little packet of hot sauce. So, I usually keep everything in the bag it comes in, except for the meat. I put the meat in the meat drawer. But everything else, I literally keep it in the fridge. like this it's easy it's perfect all I have to do is just pull out the meat that it needs um, and I will get to the meats in a moment so the next bag is the honey glaze pork tenderloin all right let me get that card out so the first thing I see is time which I love that they send you like fresh herbs. Um, I made the creamy dill chicken recipe yesterday and I do like how they send you fresh herbs and I really like thyme so I'm really excited for this one. Um, this has green beans and they say thoroughly washed which I do appreciate but I typically rinse them underwater anyway. Next, I have honey. And I got, what would this be? Oh, this is chicken stock concentrates. I got two cloves of peeled garlic, and I like that they peel it. So you don't have to deal with that. All you have to do is just cut it up, mince it, whatever you have to do to it. And then I have another of the chicken stock concentrates. And then I have two sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes, so I'm really happy about these. Obviously, um, when you have like vegetables and stuff, they tell you to wash and dry them. So, which I do anyway. So. Is the second recipe and I find that it's easy and it's better to keep them in here because you don't want to lose your ingredients and then try to find it later so the third one is the one pan orzo italiano And this one does say Best Buy, um, you know, July 20th. Today is July 13th, by the way. The next thing I see is parsley. I absolutely love parsley, so I'm really, really excited about that. I love the smell of parsley. Alright, the next thing is shredded Parmesan cheese. And then we have the orzo pasta. Next we have grape tomatoes. We have panko breadcrumbs. We have Italian seasoning.
we have mozzarella, shredded mozzarella cheese. We have another thing of chicken stock concentrate and one lemon. So I find that for these recipes, at least so far that I've gotten, these ingredients are really easy to find. They're not like really crazy ingredients that you can't find anywhere. And so that makes it easier for you to recreate these recipes. So I really do like that. show you what is at the very bottom. So as you can see we kind of cleared out a nice space for in here. So again in here they have another one saying you know don't forget to check the bottom kind of thing. And then I'm going to pull out the ice pack. So this is the first ice pack. It's super huge. Which I'm just going to set it right here. And then I'm going to pull out my meats. Put this back in here and uh, there's another ice pack at the bottom and that's pretty much what's in the box. So, so I have the pulled pork, which I don't know if this is already cooked or not. Obviously, I'm going to have to look in the recipe to see but obviously it tells you the nutrition facts you know it tells you the you know cook thoroughly keep in the fridge or frozen so that's what the package looks like and it looks like it's probably already cooked I'll just have to like heat it through the next is the pork tenderloin and so far, the meat that I have gotten for my recipes seems to be like a really nice quality. Not a lot of fat, which is really nice. This next one is the sweet Italian chicken sausage mix. Um, and it tells you the ingredients. I was just reading the ingredients for it, but that's what it looks like. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, which I absolutely love about this box. I believe the value for the box I'm doing right now is $59.95, which seems to be, you know, it's kind of more expensive, but it depends on how much you spend for groceries. And if you like the concept of having just the amount of ingredients you have without having like a whole bunch of extra stuff. And um, I like that part of the idea. So, yeah, I'm going to put all this in the fridge now, and I think I might try to do a Bath & Body Works haul for you. I'm upstairs this time, and I have a great big window in front of me, and it's very nice outside. Like, I don't see any clouds, and my kids are downstairs doing, you know, pie playing and sleeping and stuff, so... I might try to do that video, but I hope you enjoyed this HelloFresh unboxing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get another box right now. I don't know. But if I do, I'll definitely do another unboxing because every week you can choose like different recipes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And subscribe if you want, thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more from me. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!